The U.S. Supreme Court ruled unanimously to preserve access to a medication used in most abortions. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Ashley Kirkland. And I'm Chris Jacobs. WLWT News 5's Todd Dykes is live with today's decision considered a setback for pro-life groups, Todd. Yeah, you know, Chris and Ashley, initially the conservative leanings uh, court's nine to zero ruling really seemed like a total stunner and one that would be greeted by a whole lot of enthusiasm for supporters of places like Planned Parenthood of Southwest Ohio here behind me. Uh, but a, a deeper dive into the court's decision uh, on the drug Mifepristone shows it has more to do with a technicality than the way the justices feel about reproductive rights. I look at this decision as being highly technical in nature. When it comes to legal questions about reproductive rights, Judy Dar is at the forefront in her role as dean of NKU's Chase College of Law. I talked to Dar about today's unanimous ruling by the U.S. Supreme Court that preserves access to Mifepristone, a medication used in almost two-thirds of abortions across the country last year. While there is a reason for those who favor abortion rights to be happy about the result in this case, technically speaking, it really speaks more to the standing doctrine. The court case against Mifepristone started when doctors in Texas, who are critical of the drug, argued about the way the Food and Drug Administration approved the medication many years ago. Dar said all nine Supreme Court justices agreed those Texas doctors failed to show they had proper standing because they had not been directly injured by the use of Mifepristone. And it's a long-standing doctrine that originates with the founding documents, the Constitution, Article 3. So the notion that any person or group that has a beef with a law can just go to court and challenge the law has long been curtailed by the Constitution. This is unfortunate, but we just keep on fighting against it. Libby Brohard, a member of a group called Created Equal, advocated on behalf of the pro-life movement today at Fountain Square. She's disappointed with the high court's ruling, but is determined to press on. We know that regardless of whether you use medication or surgery, it's always wrong to kill an innocent human being. Now, I had hoped to talk to a representative of Planned Parenthood based here in Cincinnati today. A spokeswoman indicated that would happen, but I haven't heard back. Uh, the head of Ohio's Democratic Party did say in a statement, quote, we can breathe a little easier knowing that Mifepristone will remain widely available. Reporting live tonight here in Mount Auburn, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. All right, Todd, thank you so much. We'll see.